Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. Um, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me again for another update video. This week I want to at first give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors on Patreon and LibrePay and uh, shout out to this week's uh, Ride the GNU sponsor which is Modular Fonts Editor K. Um, I really would not be able to do this work without your help. And um, I also want to thank the people who have been sharing these videos. Uh, the more people we can reach, the um, more people we'll be able to get to support this pro project. Um, so thank you all very much. Um, I, bit of news, I will be doing a live stream this coming Wednesday. Um, it's at 1500 UTC, uh, 11 a.m. local Boston time, 4 p.m. UK time. Uh, me and Chris uh, Rogers will be will be dissecting and going into all of the features uh, that we're excited about, that we're interested in, in the live stream. We'll also be answering questions from people in the chat, and we'll be in trying to invite some artists and pro programmers in, uh, if they're available, to also talk about the kinds of things in the new, new release that they're excited about. Um, so please do jo join us if you're interested in the new version. Uh, we, there's a ton of features in, in this next release that we're happy about, re really. Um, so let's get into the actual features. Um, the first thing is, is that the beta was due to be released yesterday, but it has been delayed because of an upstream problem in uh, a, a project called glib. This prevents Windows users from being able to use extensions at all. Uh, so rather than put out a beta for either just Linux and Mac or a Windows beta that was completely broken, we are delaying it until Tuesday. Um, so hopefully we can be able to fix that particular issue. Um, so what have I been up to? The first and the biggest is there's been a really weird problem with pages that I couldn't diagnose until it was pointed out that the people who were having issues had a setting in their preferences set called <laughs> the, the origin is at the bottom left instead of the top left. The origin is the, is the place where zero, zero is on, on, on the ruler. Uh, Inkscape originally had its origin at the bottom left as it is in PDF files, but this was very hard because SVG's origin is at the top left. And so a couple of years ago, we, we changed it so that it all went one way. Um, but we kept the preference so that you could turn it back to the PDF style. Uh, pages, on the other hand, did not really take this into account at all. And so there are all sorts of weird and wonderful problems with uh, page shadows that, much like Peter Pan's shadow, doesn't seem to f follow it around. Um, we have uh, things that get flipped around as you move them, uh, pages that are saved into the document in the wrong location. Um, all of these problems, like exports that are just wrong. Um, I've had to go through all of the all of the basic multi-page support again, but with that option checked the other way and processing all of the functionality again to make sure that it's fun functioning and then fixing it where, where it's broken. Um, so that's been the majority of my day, my week. Um, but I have actually fixed a crash when you had the multi-page and the trace bitmap open at the same time. Um, I fixed a, a PDF importing problem that happened because of a previous fix. So the fix that I did last week caused a bug this week, uh, which is also fixed. I fixed a problem in the symbols. So this is a long standing issue with symbol sizes. When you import or export symbols, um, they are they, they were adjusted in size incorrectly based upon their units. So if they're in centimeters and inches, etc., which is devastating for many workflows um, for, for doing things like circuitry and stuff because you need accurate units to be able to use them correctly. Um, so hopefully that should be stabilized. Um, there was a problem with markers were if the marker ID had a space in it and spaces in IDs is not valid, by the way, uh, then you couldn't copy the line. Like the, the line would have a marker on it and then you paste the line and that line didn't have the, the marker on it. Uh, removing the spaces is the best we can do for now. 
um, fixed a problem with blurred objects where if you had a blurred object that wasn't entirely square and you tried to resize it uh, with the um, stroke preservation set to off, the, bl the blurred object would actually become out of aspect, right? So keeping the aspect ratio would not at all keep the aspect correctly. Um, that's been fixed. Uh, there's been a lot of packaging tweaks and a lot of te testing of extensions and things because we're getting very close to the release and I need to make sure that this stuff works. So syn syn synchronizing all of the extensions up to the the packaging. Um, and I also fixed the, the opening of PDF documents, uh, some upstream, up, upstream changes again. This has actually happened quite, quite a few times uh, when projects that are not in Inkscape, they do other things that we use, have changed something and it's broken Inkscape. Um, this must be like the 12th time this happened. Um, basically, they, you, you imported using the Cairo import and the pages would be the wrong size. Um, so that's been fixed. Um, so let's kick off with what, what else has happened in the Inkscape world. Um, this is features and fixes and stuff that I didn't do. Uh, first of all, a big shout out to Marin, who has been going through all of the grammar in Inkscape. As she does the translations team, she, she's also been going through the strings that we have, the, the sentences, and just fixing some of the common mistakes, spellings and grammar, and you know re regularizing the text a bit more, which is great. Um, I think it's Saya... Nakata fixed a crash while parsing invalid CSS rules. Uh, Raphael has, he's done a lot. He's fixed two issues with the tab tablet pressure response with the pencil tool, which is great. Uh, he fixed a crash in the Bezier tool. He fixed a crash in grids when you do fit to page. He fixed rendering issues with, L with the light path effects. Um, Nathan Lee, he, uh, he added a line section shot shortcut to the pre preferences and fixed missing st status uh, for the text tool, um, as well as all of the other te testing that he helps with. Um, Javier has continued to fix pro problems in, in the live path effects, and he fixed an issue in the lib2geom li library. Um, Mark has been the one who has been investigating the problem, the upstream problem that causes Windows extensions not to run in, uh, in glib. Um, so hopefully he'll be able to come up with a fix or a workaround or something, something so we can get that packaged up um, for Tuesday. Um, and that's about it for this week. Please do uh, consider joining me on Wednesday here on YouTube. Um, I've put together a bunch of graphics and stuff, which has been quite, quite fun to have a play around with OBS and figure all the streaming stuff out. But I'm also really interested to see who, who joins us and what kind of quick questions they ask about, about the new, new release. Um, and I'll, I'll see you all then. Thank you for joining me.